Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to the channel Bookables. Today I have a very exciting announcement. So I have a readathon announcement. A lot of you guys have been asking over on the Gilmoreathon um, Instagram and Twitter and things like that. And yes, we are doing the Gilmoreathon this year. So we didn't do it last year because of just dates and things like that didn't work out, but we are doing it this year. If you don't know, the Gilmoreathon is a Gilmore Girls readathon, aka based on the popular, very classic, amazing fall show, Gilmore Girls. So there will be three hosts this year, the amazing Olivia from Liv's Library, the amazing Mackenzie from Mackenzie Lane, and of course me. So you have three hosts and we're going to read all things Gilmore Girls and things like that. The date for the Gilmore-a-thon this year will be November 7th to the 13th. So a little bit before Thanksgiving, at least here in the U.S., you know, it's still very fallish. It's like the perfect time to watch Gilmore Girls. In fact, my favorite episode of all time is a Thanksgiving episode. So it matches up perfectly and it's gonna be kind of the same as we did a couple years ago A lot of our challenges are gonna be the same and we also have a bingo board as well So there are no rules to this readathon. It's really do what you want if you want to do all seven challenges Great if you want to do three challenges great if you want to do the bingo board great either way Just have a Gilmore Girls good time. That's all we're asking so the challenges this year, like I said, are going to be kind of similar to the ones as a couple years ago. Hopefully that's okay. First up, we have read a book set in a small town because of Stars Hollow. Nothing else needs to be said. There's so many small town books. I am doing a new video. I'm doing a video soon of small town reads. I've done one a few years ago, but I have a lot more to mention. So if you're looking for a book, that video will be up very, very soon. Read a book with family drama. Obviously, the Gilmores have a lot of family drama going on. There is just sometimes Lorelai is not doing well with her mom or with her dad. Sometimes her and Rory get into it. Either way, find a book. It could be a mystery thriller. It could be a romance. Find a book that has some familial drama in it. Have read a book set during fall and winter because Stars Hollow is the best for fall and winter. So find a book. It could be a Christmassy book if you want. It could be an overly fall book. Either way, as long as it's set in the fall and winter months, you're good to go. And we have read a book with complicated love interests because our girl Rory still, even with the revival, cannot get her love wife, you know, situated and right. She's got a lot of complicated love interests. So maybe you could read a book about a love triangle or maybe about a couple that has just not figured out quite how to work it out, but they're still in each other's lives, a la Rory and Logan. You're good to go. Read a book by an Asian author or has Asian representation. Of course, this is obviously based on Lane Kim. She is an amazing character. She's a drummer. So just find a great book that has an Asian author, has Asian representation. And I know there are so many out there. I've read so many, and so I can't wait to find one for this year to read. Then we have Bake a Fall Treat and Watch Your Favorite Episode. Fall Treat could be cookies, it could be brownies, it could be whatever you want it to be, and watch your favorite episode of Gilmore Girls. In fact, I've done a whole top 10 video of my favorite um, Gilmore Girls episodes. I'll link it right here for you to see. I already know which one I'll be watching. It's my favorite episode of all time. It's the Thanksgiving one in season three, a deep fried Korean Thanksgiving. It is the best episode, in my opinion, of all time, so I'll be for sure watching that and baking a fall treat. And our last challenge is to read a book with leaves on the cover. So I know this might be hard because I feel like not a lot of books have leaves on the cover, so you can really stretch it. It could be green leaves, it doesn't have to be orange and red leaves because of fall. Even if you just want to do some fallish colors on the cover, that's okay too. Seriously, there are no rules to this readathon just to have a good time. Like I said, we also have a bingo board that has some reading challenges in it, but also just some kind of Gilmore Girls-esque challenges as well, if you want to do that as well, if you want to mix them up between doing the challenges and the bingo board, whatever you want to do. I don't know quite yet what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to feel it out because I'm a mood reader now for sure. But I do know I will be reading the buddy read for this readathon, which is As Seen on TV by Mary the Shore. And the reason we picked this is because it sounds like Gilmore Girls and we have a blurb by an amazing author, Abby Hamezen, who says, adorable and steamy fun that's full of Gilmore Girls vibes. So Gilmore Girls Sunday up in here. All about a character named Adina who is an emerging journalist and she's done with dating in New York. She's like, I'm sick of it. I want to go to this small town, um, you know, because she's always known because small town romances. Maybe she probably watches Gilmore Girls. She visits Pleasant Hollow. 
like stars hollow but only pleasant hollow isn't so pleasant everybody there is kind of grumpy and moody there's no fall festival she's like this is not the small town that i signed up for where's it at where's stars hollow the only upside to this town is finn adams who's more mouth-watering than the homemade cherry pie addy can't seem to find even if she he does work for the company she's hoped to bring down suddenly addy has to wonder if maybe tv got it all wrong after all will following her heart mean losing her chance to break into the big time so we have a journalist that's going to a small town that thinks it's going to be great but it turns out not to be great Ugh. either way we are reading this all together and we're very very excited about it also if you don't know we have an instagram that you can follow um we repost a lot of things like that we'll post some things coming up sooner to the readathon we also have a discord page where you can i'm sure there will be one for just the buddy readathon for some of the challenges for the bingo board either way we could just talk all about gilmore girls because if you don't know gilmore girls is one of my favorite shows of all time i have done countless videos on this channel about gilmore girls because it's very fall and winterish and that is like me to a t i love fall it's my favorite season i named my daughter autumn so Needless to say, I'm very, very excited to do this readathon again. I'm so at, I'm so excited they asked me to co-host again, and I just love this readathon because it's all the fall vibes, all cozy and warm, and I am just here for it. So if you want to participate in the Gilmoreathon, I'll leave all the links down below to Liv's channel, to Mackenzie's channel, and all the information of dates and challenges and things like that. We hope you participate this year. We're so excited about it. It's going to be low key. It's going to be fun. Either way, it's just going to be a Gilmore Girls fun time. Time. We hope to see you all in November to participate in it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.